Welcome in everyone, today we are going to be talking about DLC number 2 and what we can expect from the animals, the gear, and the map itself. There's a lot of ideas being tossed out there and I kind of want to just focus in on a few things and talk about really what we can expect after what we've already seen from the last DLC. Now I do think this is going to be their most highly anticipated DLC, there's a lot that's going to be in here. And uh, what we're really thinking that this is going to be, is, we're thinking it's going to be Africa. And the reason we're thinking that is because of this UTV that I'm driving right now. It is called Safari, so it kind of gives us a little bit of a hint. Um, one of the cars is actually called Warpaint, and then we have the Nez Perce Valley. So it kind of goes hand in hand with what we could think the next map would be. So I'm pretty much sold that it is going to be Africa, but I do want to get into why I don't think it's going to be that exotic style hunt that some in the community are really looking for. If we look at the population differences between Nez Perce and Aurora Shores, we can kind of see that we were given two new animals, that is the bison and the caribou. I felt like every other animal had a brother or sister in Nez Perce. So when I think forward for DLC number two, that is why I'm on Transylvania right now, and that is what I expect we will see with the next map. So don't get me wrong, I do think that we will see new animals, I just don't think that we're going to see a bunch of different exotic animals. And I really want this title to do well so I don't want everyone disappointed when they don't get what they've been expecting for this whole time and shooting elephants and tigers and lions. Because let's be real, let's think about this honestly. An elephant trumpeting and crashing through the forest is not going to be the quietest thing. And when we already have wolves blowing our eardrums out, an elephant's going to be wild. That's going to be crazy. Not to mention we don't have any ammo type that can take that creature out. And so they have to introduce an entirely new ammo, an entirely new gun just for that. So in my opinion, I just do not see any of those things happening. But I will go ahead and get into what I do see happening here. Now I think if they release an Africa map, it is going to be in the Cape of Africa, South Africa. We're going to be looking at mainly a lot of the high fence type hunting. And from what I've looked into, a lot of the Transylvania species are huntable down in the Cape of South Africa. So let's go ahead and get into that list. So here we are at the top. We've got the big guy. we got the red deer. I heard a lot of the red deer are down there. They're able to be hunted and the populations are pretty strong. So that's a big indicator why we might be going down that way. And some are saying Australia for a good reason, because therein again, he could be in an Australia map. I am putting all my chips into the Africa basket, so we're going to go ahead and keep looking that direction. So after the red deer, we have a Barbary stag. A Barbary stag is just another type of antlered species down there that is, you know, fairly popular and able to be hunted. Next on the list is going to be something like a sheep, probably something, anything looking like a mouflon, I'm thinking the, it's going to be the Barbary sheep, just because that's based on what my research did as what's the best huntable sheep species down there. There's a lot of wild sheep, a lot of wild goats, stuff like that. So I'm going to go with the Barbary sheep. Next, my research kind of led me down the fallow deer path. I guess there's a lot of fallow deer down there able to be hunted, so that's the next one I'm going to go with. Then I'm going to go ahead and say something like a bush pig, just any type of pig down there, pretty popular type of hunt. Then we got a cape hare and a cape fox. And then also I'm thinking, you know, wild duck, of course, and probably some other type of duck, maybe like a cape shoveler. Um, that, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what I'm thinking. It's another type of duck down there. Then I would see something like a black-tailed jackal. Of course, I mean, Transylvania, we got a jackal. Maybe we'll go with the black tail on this one. And then... Next, I'm going to say a guinea for the new species. I'm going to say there's going to be a guinea instead of a pheasant. I think that would be really cool to see. I don't think it would be too hard as the animal patterns are pretty similar. And then I'm going to go for a big creature and I'm going to say Cape Buffalo. I feel like a Cape Buffalo is going to be something new, something fairly easy to produce. And it'll probably give us a similar hunt to the bison. Now last but certainly not least is a creature that has been talked about and rumored since launch and that is going to be the honey badger. If we get a map that can host a honey badger and we do not have a honey badger, I think there's going to be complete revolt. I think there should be complete revolt because that is one critter that has been joked and talked about ever since the start of this game. 
But there you have it, that's the list that I am thinking that's going to be on this new map of Africa. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into a couple of the gear options that have been confirmed they are going to be in here. Now, someone from Nine Rocks Games has confirmed that we're going to be getting a different ammunition type. Maybe not just the type, but the ability to change our ammunition per the rifle we are using. Now that's something I would really like to see is that we would be able to change the ammunition based on the rifle that we're using. That'd be really cool. But I could also see it going a route of ammunition types such as polymer tip, soft point, hollow point, things like that. I would also really like to see a handgun in here and with that I could see an ammunition type being in here as well. That's a little different than what we've seen. I do think they will go one of those ways, either rechambering your rifle or being able to pick a new ammunition like a polymer tip. I think the more options we get is good just because it broadens that player base. For the other gear item that was mentioned, it sounds like we're going to get another set of binoculars, which I mean finally we've had that third slot forever and still haven't been able to fill it. Not going to lie though, I will be a little disappointed if we don't get something that is way better than what we have right now. I feel like there is a little bit of work that could be done with that system just because when you are within the range of using the hunter sense, it's very hard to pinpoint which creature you are looking at when everything's bunched up real close together. And even when it's not, I'll find myself looking at a two star mature when I'm actually looking at a female and it's kind of annoying. So I really feel like this system needs a little work and that third option needs to be filled with something powerful. A lot of people are wanting a spotting scope and a monocular. I don't see why they wouldn't put that in there. Let's go ahead and again broaden the player base by giving everybody a little bit of something instead of giving one section everything. Having said that, I would like to see another bow in here. Let's get a compound bow or a recurve bow. That would be sweet. I think that this next map would be the perfect spot for it. Why not? The landscape of South Africa is beautiful and it's going to offer us a lot of amazing views and a lot of amazing hunting. With the rolling hills, tall grass, and sparse trees, those shooting lanes are going to be high and clear when we do find them. Looks like we're going to get about 100 square kilometers of hunting area. And if the populations are anything like Aurora Shores, this could offer us a very mid-level hunt. As right now, I would go ahead and rate Aurora Shores the easiest, then Nez Perce, and then Transylvania being the hardest hunt in the game so far. So I'm going to go ahead and give out a spoiler because the next thing I'm going to say is going to have a huge effect on the next map and what everyone's thinking we're going to be able to hunt, but it is also part of the main storyline in Nez Perce. If you haven't finished the main campaign in Nez Perce, go ahead and take a look at the timestamps down below and travel to one of them, you should be pretty safe. But here we go. So down in the basement of Grandpa's cabin is a lot of exotic animals and the whole storyline is about not shooting exotic animals, not getting that hunter fever in you, not going after polar bears, not going after elephants. So I don't think any exotic hunting is gonna happen. I think that would be turning away from their main point. I think that that would be a complete 180 from where they started off. And where they started off was ethical hunting. So while yes, shooting an elephant is ethical in some aspects, like when they're too old or when they're literally taking out every young bull, you know, for the most part, it's not an ethical thing to do to go out and just hunt down a hundred different elephants. And if our main character, River Knox, literally followed the path that his mother did, we're just going to destroy Wallace completely. So I just don't see that happening. I don't ever see it happening. I won't ever really put my chips in that basket because of what I've seen from Nine Rocks. That's going to be it from me and what I have been thinking over these last few weeks about this next DLC. And I want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to all my followers on the YouTube channel. We have made it past 100, so we're blowing this thing up, and that is all because of you. Thank you so much, and let's just keep moving forward. Let's keep making these kind of videos, and keep telling me what you want to see, so that way I can make it happen. Again, thank you so much for the support, and see you on the next one. As always, have a good day.